FID chip in your life, Sean. I was keeping tabs on her. Keeping tabs on her. She's a human being. I'm aware of that. I'm not a pet. She was cheating on me. That doesn't give you the right to tag her. RFID is the way of the future. I'm just ahead of the curve. Fifteen years, everyone will be implanted with a chip. Really? What a All right, Shalom, Maki, Manakwa. First and foremost, as always, want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the head of apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which all means truth. Much respect to the brothers out there laboring in this work, and also to the believers, to you, I say, Shalom. Hey, the Lord is pretty much making it plain and clear, man. It's like a crystal clear day, man, with no clouds in the sky. Everything is clear. He's laid everything out, you know, for you to see. You still have people denying the fact that the off of the microchip is the mark of the beast. And, um, I mean, after all this evidence, even the video that I just played, you know, it was, that was the same from Law and Order back in 2006. And you heard what the dude said, man, hey, 15 years later, you know, after 2006, that would be 2021. Everyone was going to be made to take that chip, and that was going to be the start of the new world, basically. All right, that was gonna be the future, the RFID chip. So they putting it right in your face, all right? The Lord is showing you all these signs and you still can't believe it, all right? Everything is leading up until the mark of the beast, man, everything. When you look at this article I got pulled up from MyTotalRetail.com, all right? Look what Walmart's doing. And this is from October 1st, 2020. It says, Walmart to remodel up to 1,000 stores with digital, with digital shoppers in mind. You see that? with digital shoppers in mind. And we know that Walmart was part of the New World Order anyway, right? When you take the, <laughs> the word wall, and you flip it around, you get law. You get M-A-R-T, all right? That's short for martial. So martial law, all right? So during the time of martial law, when the troops are um, surrounding your cities and they are pretty much controlling your movements, you know, Walmart's gonna be that hot spot. And you're gonna have to have that chip in order for you to get your supplies, you see? So everything is leading up to the chip. Let's read some of this. It says Walmart will remodel, remodel 200 of its super centers by the end of 2020 to encourage a more digital enable shopping experience. Featuring bolder signage, contactless checkout, <laughs> and airport inspired crowd management techniques, according to the customer's chief customer officer, Jenny Whiteside. The retail giant's remodeling project will expand to 1,000 stores by the end of 2021. The redesigned efforts are intended to complement the company's mobile app and a nod to customers' increasing mm -hmm. preference for contactless shopping experiences. Walmart's updated stores will feature both self-checkout, kiosks, and stations where Walmart uh, pay can be used. Several locations will also feature scan and go technology. God damn, scan and go technology. <laughs> All right, so I mean, what are they gonna be scanning, man? All right, yeah, of course you can scan your phone, but ultimately, hey, look, they're gonna have to put a chip in you, and uh, your chip is gonna be connected to your phone, and uh, you know, your, your your chip is gonna hold your phones on it, man. You see, so that scan and go technology. They showed you that in um, this recent cartoon that came out. A lot of brothers did a video on it, you know, showing you that um, they were using their hands to pretty much scan and check out stuff. So that's where this thing is going, man, right? Let's read on. It says the retail, the retail's take the trend of big boxes. Retail is trying to blur the line between online and offline shopping experiences <clears throat> through the use of in-store mobile apps and other technology has been evident for some time now. However, the push to roll out such technology as well as redesign store spaces has become more urgent in light of the C-19 pandemic. And of course, man, they're using this, this pandemic. They were gonna use this pandemic, the King virus, as a way to push their new world order. All right, this global reset was gonna be stemmed around this pandemic, this worldwide pandemic. All right, so global reset, and which is going to include this RFID microchip for you to function. They're going to have a global 
debt reset program and included in that is going to be the damn chip all right and they're going to offer you that chip as an incentive to, to clear all your debt out man you know so this is what is headed continuing on to read a little more of this and we're going to get something else it says uh has become more urgent in light of the c19 pandemic and consumers increasing preference for contactless shopping Furthermore, consumers are looking to have their in-store shopping experiences be as quick and seamless as possible. And, they, and they're and relying on relying on technology to help them accomplish that goal. You see, this thing is going to be rolled out. That's something that's going to be beneficial to you. Okay, considering all this chaos that is going on, you know, it was going to be presented as something that's going to be, um, you know, helpful. They're going to have your health records on it. And uh, it's going to be seamless, as they say, man. You know, quick and easy. <laughs> you know, and uh, it's a damn safer for you, man. You know, <clears throat> it says it also says uh, Walmart recognized it, that and incorporated it into its store redesign plans. You see, so yeah, that's where it's going, man. You know, Walmart, Wally World, as we knew, start from here up, El Paso to her on down. All right, the man of Great Millstone. This was going to be issued in the future, man. And we in that time. And, um, you know, also I got another article pulled up. If I have it on here. Yeah, your stocks. I'm going to get some scriptures out of it after this. But uh, <clears throat> look what the C19 is doing. All right. The global crisis. Your stocks are tumbling. This is from CNN. It says stocks tumble as C19 cases surge and stimulus is nowhere to be found. You see that? All right. So what they're going to do, man, they're going to use the C19 to further crash the economy. And eventually, this dollar is going to completely collapse. It's going to completely collapse. And uh, you're not going to be able to buy, man. You know, unless you get down with it, get down. You see? So... Let's get that crash in the book of, uh, I think it's Zephaniah 1 and 10. Zephaniah 1 and 10. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord Yahweh Bashamel Shah, that there should be a noise of a cry from the fish gate, from these markets, and a howling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. See, it's going to be a great crashing in this market. That's the crashing from the hills. Okay? So we getting ready for this crash and when this crash happens, your dollars and your 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 racks on racks on racks, you know, all that ain't gonna mean shit. You see? So that's why the scriptures say in Revelations 13 and 16, and he calls of all. Now how is he causing all, man? Alright, let me read this real quick. And he calls of all <clears throat> both small and great, rich and poor, free and bun. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. How is it gonna cause them to receive this mark in their foreheads, man? Or in their right hand? You're gonna crash the economy. <laughs> you know? A very smart devil we're dealing with here, man. This is Esau, the damn serpent. And so people don't know what's coming. They don't know what's coming. They don't know that, hey, if you take this chip, in which is gonna be a time in the coming future that you're gonna be tempted into taking this chip because you're gonna wanna eat. And that's their hour of temptation. That is also spoken about, you know. And the Lord told you, hey, if anyone take this chip, then you're gonna suffer His wrath in the day of judgment. But let's get this uh, let's get the definition of this word mark right here, man. All right, that's for further exhortation. All right, it's word mark, which is what Karakma. Strong's G fifty four eighty, Karakma. Karagma. All right. <laughs> Definition. Uh, it says a stamp and a printed mark. This is a physical mark. It says of the mark stamp on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist, right? Of the anti Messiah. And who is the anti Messiah, man? That's Esau, the so called white man, in which the whole world is taking on. The mindset of Esau. So everyone is pretty much anti anti messiahs Except for the elect, you know, who have broken away from the chains of the of the darkness of this world. 
and have come back into the obedience of the scriptures, right? Through the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay, verse B, uh, definition B. It says, the mark branded upon the horses, then called scripture, graven work, or idolatrous images. See? Or idolatrous images. And uh, I want to see if I can find something else. Okay. Pretty much, this is going to be used as something to tag you. You see? Everyone got to be tagged, man. All right? That's some new world order. Oh, check this out. All right? This is uh, Strong G5482. All right, Karox. Let's get this at the top. It says it pale of steak. All right? And let's go down to the Strongs real quick. It says, uh, to sharpen to a point. That sounds like a needle, right? <laughs> it says, through the idea of scratching, see? Through scratching a stake, by implication, a palisade, or rampart, military mound for circum circumvallation in a siege, a trench. I don't know what this means. We'll, uh, we'll look it up real quick, though. It's going down, man. It's going down. <clears throat> a circumvallation is a line of fortification built by the attackers around the besieged fortification facing towards the enemy fort to protect the besiegers from uh, sorties by its defenders and to enhance the blockades. But yeah, uh, pretty much they're going to issue in, like Trump said. This this Maxine, this Axine with the military, man. And they also gonna do the chip like that. You see, you're gonna be presented with this chip. And it's gonna be done by the way of the military, you see? And so there you go. That's the mark of the beast. But pretty much, man, that's that's it's plain as day. It's pretty much all you need. Let me see. Alright, you got uh text commentary, this is what I'm looking for, okay. Yeah, this is a uh, commentary from uh, David Guzik and he tell you on Revelations 13 and 16. All right, it says the economic strategy of the first beast and the second beast. All right, let's see what he got. Okay, let's read this. It says he calls all to receive a mark. And this is his commentary. Under the government of the beast, all right, under the government of the beast, and his associate all would be given a mark a physical mark without the mark one would not be able to participate in the economy you see that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark of his name that's, that's all the scripture is saying man all right there ain't no psychological you know philosophy or nothing like that man it's a physical mark it's simple okay Yeah, that's pretty much it, man, you know? That's, that's pretty much it. Uh, crystal clear, you know? The mark of the beast is to off the market chip. And if you take that chip, the Lord can kill you. All right? So with that, hey, Lord willing, it was edifying. Till next time, I say, shalom.